Hello everyone. In this topic, we'll see how to use the pricing calculator and Azure TCO calculator. Since I wanted to use the pricing calculator, I will search in the Google for Azure pricing calculator. I will open this particular link and you will see the pricing calculator has opened. So this is a free tool basically and you will be able to access this in the internet and it is freely available over the internet. You can access on the left hand side the popular products or service has been listed here. If I wanted to estimate for compute, I will click on the compute and I will add to estimate. Once the virtual machine has been added to the estimate, I can go to the bottom of the screen and I'll select the region where I wanted to place this virtual machine. I wanted to place this virtual machine in South India. I wanted to use Linux as the operating system. And I will go with SUSE Linux and standard. Category general purpose is OK. I want the instance series as DSV3 series. I can select the CPU, RAM and the temporary storage for the virtual machine. So I'll choose the lowest size of virtual machine over here. And if I wanted to increase the size of the virtual machine, the cost is also going to increase per hour. If you notice dollar 0.135, it is for 8 GB RAM. And if I select 16 GB RAM, the cost is also going to increase with dollar 0.27 per hour okay, no thanks and how many number of virtual machines i wanted if i wanted four virtual machines and i can select hours days or month which i want to go for i wanted to use it only for 20 days then i'll select days and i wanted to use it only for 20 days because I am testing something, so I'll go with 20 days. And you have the estimation for the virtual machines, which is for four virtual machines, you have got the estimation. The option what you have selected is for pay as you go subscription plan. And if I want it for savings plan, I can choose one year savings plan or three year savings plan. If I wanted to commit to Microsoft saying that I'll be using these four virtual machines for one year or three year. I can select any of these options. So my cost will be significantly decreased. I can pay upfront cost or monthly cost. So if I, I'll choose monthly cost. So my cost has been significantly decreased. If I choose three years reserved instance. After selecting the virtual machine, I want to go with disks as well for all the four virtual machines i will use standard and lrs and i wanted four disks which is of 2 tb disk so this is also costing around 614 dollars and the total cost for your virtual machine will be dollar 772 so this way you can use the pricing calculator for your estimation. If you are deploying any of the services in Azure Cloud, you can come to the pricing calculator and check for the estimation for each of the resources and services what you are going to deploy. If you are going to use the storage, you can add to estimate. And I will go to storage account. I wanted to deploy. I wanted to create the storage account in South India. I will choose block blob storage. Performance, which is okay, standard. General purpose, that is also fine. I wanted to keep it as flat namespace and hot tier. And LRS is okay. I wanted this for backup. I will say 10 TB. And if I wanted to reserve, I can choose reserve for 3 years. I don't want petabyte. So I will 
make it as zero here and i wanted only 100 tb so 100 tb into 1 for 3 years you will be paying around 1803 dollars i will select pay as you go because i want only 10 tb of space so i will be paying monthly 243 dollars apart from that you have an option to select the right operation list and create container operation so these are the options which you can select and estimate the cost for the storage account if i wanted to change the redundancy i can change the redundancy zrs is not available in south india so i have to select grs which is geo redundant storage and you can see the cost has been significantly increased it has almost doubled for using grs so you can choose the resources which you are going to deploy and estimate the cost if i click on example scenarios you have been given with some solutions which you wanted to use if i wanted to go with ca cd for containers this is basically calculating all the resources which are required for ci cd containers and if i click on add to estimate whatever resources which are part of this ci cd pipeline for containers azure devops visual studio not visual studio visual studio is basically your ide platform which you can use on your laptop so there are some of the services like azure devops pipeline and azure repos Azure Container Registry, Azure Container Service. So for all these, it is going to estimate. I'll click on estimate. And it has added to the estimate. So you have all these resources or services which you are going to use for this solution. And the estimated cost is dollar 261 per month if i don't like this solution i want to go with another solution you can always come here and these are some of the example scenarios what the pricing calculator is showing and you can even come here and you can actually export this particular report and it will be exported as an excel sheet so it has it has given all the information in this excel sheet let us see how we can use the azure tcu calculator i'll search for azure tcu calculator and i will open this link once i open this link i can do the comparison between our on prem environment and azure cloud so this is the link which you can use for total cost of ownership calculator and basically this is a free tool which you can access over the internet if i wanted to do the bulk upload bulk upload is basically i have all the information about the servers database network storage and i will be able to upload in an excel sheet and i will get the estimation since i don't want to use the bulk upload i don't have any details about my environment i will go on adding the workloads one by one and i have the workload of sap which is sap application which is running on linux server so this is running on physical server so all these details whatever you are entering basically these are all on prem details and linux i have four servers for this application if you see we will be able to choose between 1 to 4 for the processor and 1 to 8 for the course if you are running more than four processor on your on prem you will not be able to select over here so i'll keep it as four here and per processor eight cores my memory is 32 gb and it is optimized for cpu and i don't have any gpu I can add another server workload. I will add the database over here. 
since I am running on Oracle with SAP, I will choose physical server. It's a Linux machine, and I will keep this as two node cluster, and I will keep it as four maximum, eight core per processor, and this also has. 32 GB RAM for the database server and optimized by CPU. There is no GPU. Once you have added for the database, then I have to add the storage which I am using in the on prem environment. I will say SAN01 or SAN for SAP. Then this is from local disk or SAN. I will choose SSD. I am using around 12 terabytes of storage. I wanted to keep at least 7 days for the full backup of the database. So I will choose 100 GB for the backup. And I wanted to have at least one copy as archival. And which will be 12 TB. And I will click on next. Select next. You also have an option to select the currency over here. You can select the currency specific to your country. I will keep it as dollar. And you have an option to select other assumptions as well. These are the assumptions which you can add related to hardware, software, electricity, virtualization. If you input wrong information, basically you are inflating your on prem environment comparing with the Azure cloud. So be accurate or have an approximate value at least. I will click on next. So based on the data, whatever we have input in the TCO calculator, we have the estimation and we got a cost saving of $39,334 when we move to Azure. So this is for 5 years and this is when you are using the region as East US. And if you are running on on-prem, you have this much of cost. When you are running on Azure, you have dollar three lakh eighty four thousand and six eighty seven as the cost. And this is the breakdown of the cost in on-prem and also in the Azure. And you have all the details over here. If you want it, you can download the information and you can save it or share the information. Also, if I wanted to check for one year, I can select one year option over here, two years, three years, four years. I will select one year. And we have an estimation of cost saving of about $1,125,977 when I am moving to Azure. So this is the total cost when I am running the resources on on-prem environment. If I am moving the same resources, this will be my total cost. And this is the cost breakdown on on-prem and in Azure. And we have the details over here. So this is how we will be able to use Azure pricing calculator and total cost of ownership calculator. Thank you for watching the video. If you like the content, please subscribe and share the video. Thank you and take care.